A half century ago, NASA sent astronauts to the moon and for the past three decades used its space shuttle for low Earth orbit missions. But many veterans of NASA's glory years, such as former Johnson Space Center director Chris Kraft, are critics of the agency's plan to send astronauts to Mars. That objective is ludicrous. It cannot be done. Kraft says such an ambitious goal requires a detailed plan with intermediate preliminary steps like establishing bases on the moon. We know how to go back to the moon. It's a reasonable program. It's a feasible program. It can be done with today's capabilities. NASA's Constellation program did include such steps, but President Obama canceled it in 2010 with approval from many scientists who wanted a more ambitious goal. Among those who now think that was a mistake is the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I understand the rhetoric that we've been to the moon, why go back? But we, the real answer is we haven't been to the moon in 40 years. Tyson says the current Mars plan is too vague. I think we've lost our way. In the real world, what works on paper doesn't always work in the real world. And in the real world, we've lost our way. David Alexander, director of the Space Institute at Rice University, puts the blame for NASA's current predicament on the politicians who tightly control the funding. A lot of people blame NASA for not having a plan, NASA for not having this and that, but actually they have lots of plans that, that, they can, that they've worked on based on what they've been told to do by Congress and, and various Congresses over the years. But Congress has many enthusiastic supporters of space exploration, says NASA Deputy Administrator Glory Garver. We work closely with our appropriators and authorizers, and uh, we believe there is broad support for a stable NASA budget. And Garver believes Congress will fund the launch system and other technology NASA needs to get humans to Mars, fulfilling a goal that she says NASA has had in mind for decades. It's finally getting to the point where we are investing in those capabilities that are going to be able to get us there in a time frame where people are really starting to talk about it realistically. But before that can happen, David Alexander thinks NASA administrators and the nation's leaders need to answer some fundamental questions. The biggest issue though, of course, is that a lot of people, a lot of critics are saying is why? Where are we going? Why are we going there? You know, what are we going to do with this big thing that we develop? As the U.S. Congress struggles with the national debt and how to maintain vital federal programs, it could be tempted to cut funding for a trip to another planet set many years in the future. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.